Driving into the heart of Germany from the east, Soviet forces were in headlong pursuit of Hitler's retreating armies. It was April 1945. In the west, U.S. forces with their British, Canadian, and French allies had overcome all German resistance and were on their way to link up with the advancing Russians in the middle of Germany. The historic meeting took place on the afternoon of Wednesday, the 25th of April, at Torgau on the River Elbe, 75 miles south of Berlin. This is the happiest day of our lives, said one Russian major. We meet one another, and this is the end of our enemy. Russians and Americans traded war experiences, spoke of families and home, exchanged all sorts of souvenirs, and celebrated their friendship for several days. The goodwill was soon to turn into confrontation between the United States and the Soviet Union. The meeting at the Elbe was the high point of a wartime alliance, which could not submerge clashing interests and ideologies. Italy's Benito Mussolini had been the idol of millions since 1922. On June 10, 1940, he declared war on France and England, and the Italians cheered. Five years later, with his mistress, he lay dead on the pavement of a gas station in Milan, executed by Italian partisans while trying to flee disguised as a German airman. In his glory days, he had quoted an ancient Roman folk hero, if I advance, follow me. If I retreat, kill me. On April 28, 1945, they killed him, and the spectacle of a mob's revenge on his body was one of the more gruesome spectacles of the end of World War II.